Hello everyone, this is Akio from the Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. I am a co-author of this book, and the book is about jewelry 3D modeling using Rhino and Grasshopper. In this channel, Eva and I are introducing many unique jewelry modeling techniques. The book is available at Amazon website in your country. Today, I'm going to show you how to model a filigree bracelet with a hinge and box clasp. Let's get started. I will start with a lips in the front viewport. Start zero. The size is 56 by 43 and a half. So 28 and 21.75 offset the curve and four millimeter this is a thickness of the bracelet you don't want to make it too thin because we have the hinge and box lock here okay then i will extrude this with a gumball i want the bracelet to be eight millimeter wide so I will grab this extrusion dot and type 4, so shift for the both side. Okay, then I will extract inside surface, delete it, and create a thickness. Surface tool and offset surface command. And offset inside 1.25 millimeter. Okay, and then I'm going to make a hinge. Change to the wireframe, and then I create a circle, a 1.25 millimeter, and offset this circle, a 1.9 millimeter, and offset this one, 1.7 millimeter. Okay, then go to the perspective view and change it to the wireframe. Again, we use a gumball. First, I would take these two circles, grab this extrusion dot, and holding down the shift for the both sides, and change it to the shaded. So this time, I will take the middle circle and the outer circle. Again, extrude with the shift key. Okay. Then I'm going to trim out this extrusion to fit within the bracelet. Select this ellipse and trim out the part of this extrusion. Grab this line and move it toward the y-axis with the shift for the both sides. It works like a wire cut command. And in order to trim the outside of the bracelet, I will take this ellipse and extrude with a gumball. So grab this extrusion dot and both sides for the shift and control for the open surface. Great. Okay, then I wanted the Boolean difference. So before Boolean difference, I have to check the direction of this surface. In order to keep the object inside of this surface, white arrows have to be pointing inward. Okay, Boolean difference and select the object, enter. Subtract width is this surface. Okay. Then we have to trim out the disposed side. So what I wanted to do is create a planar surface in front viewport to cover this hinge. And then this is gonna be the cutting object. So we want this surface to be 
at the edge of this bracelet. So I will use the offset surface command, offset surface, so this side. So this time solid is no, and distance is four. Okay. Okay, repeat the command. So this time I would like to have an offset to the other direction, then enter. Then I will delete the original surface. Again, I will bring on difference. So check the direction of the surface. Uh, that's correct. So I will left click the surface to reverse the white arrow direction. And then bring on difference. This. And this is the subtract width. Okay. Good. A single line from this edge to this edge. And then divide this line. So divide command. And that's three sections. Okay. So now I'm going to make a plane plane vertical, uh, vertical plane command, I will click this point and I will create a plane, slide over here, okay, offset surface command again, offset this direction, so this time, solid is yes. So the thickness is, I don't know, I never measured the distance, but I'd like to have this solid to up to this point. So we can use a through point. This through point, click this point, and here we go. And then I will Boolean split. It's a piece inside with this extrusion. Okay, great. Then we have to separate this blessed at top and bottom. So I make another extrusion, I mean surface, control and shift, and put it on split. This side is separated. So make a surface. Boolean split. Okay. Great. And I will delete this piece. And change this bracelet to different layer. And Boolean union with these pieces. Here we go. Go to the front viewport, double click this gumball, and I turn on the center snap. And here we go. Okay, then you see how hinge works. Great. Okay. The next is a filigree. Before I create the filigree, I'd like to remove the top part of the bracelet where filigree will be placed. Offset curve on surface. Pick this side of the edge. Okay, then I'd like to offset 1.2 millimeter from this edge. Great. The same as the other side. Okay, 1.2. All right. Extract the ISO curve. I want the ISO curve, which is running uh, the other direction. So toggle. Okay, then the other side. 
Okay, I will turn off the preset and select everything in trim command. Then join. Now bring back the top part of the preset and I will use a push and pull poly surface face command. This is a greatest feature in the Rhino 8. Click the inside region of the curve and then and uh, I wanted to pierce this through. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a top surface. So we're going to put the filigree here, but um, um, how we're going to place this filigree on a blessed is flow along surface command. So we need a surface, target surface and base surface. So I can use a surface, uh, H surface command. One, two, three, and four. Great. Okay. Then offset the surface. Offset down, solid no, and loose yes. Then point eight millimeter. Great, so I don't need this top surface, delete it. So here is the surface for the filigree. Then unroll, unroll the surface, then enter. Okay, so now I will bring it in front of this blessed. Okay, I already drew the filigree pattern. Uh, what I would do first is I'm going to create a rectangle curve from object to the flyout, duplicate the face border. Okay, so now I have this border and I'm going to put the filigree here. And let me change the layer color. So this is going to be filigree. I am going to pipe these curves. Pipe round cap command. Multiple curve option. And here we go. Okay. Rhenia array. I even have no idea how many. Maybe I would do 10. And a first reference point. And second reference point. Okay. All right. So obviously this 10 was too many. I would delete outside the rectangle. A line from midpoint. Split this filigree with this line and delete it. And then this should be capped. Okay, great. Boolean union the filigree. I would do a few at a time.
Okay, finally, everything is put on union. So now I will move this on the top of the surface and we'll flow along surface. Okay. Before we flow, we need to check the direction of the surface. White arrows pointing up, red and green. And what about this same corner? Oh, uh, we have to reverse the direction of the surface. Okay. Then transform, flow along surface, select the object, and base surface, select the edge. I will select the edge at matching corner. Here we go. All right, looks good. And then Bullion Union this frigory with a bracelet. Okay, lastly, we're going to put a box lock here. This is a box lock Eva made in the last video. I will edit this box lock in order to fit the curvature of the bracelet. So I guess control shift and bring out the solid. Then I will cut it out with a ellipse curve with a gumball. Okay, it looks great and go to the back. So I have to cut out this part. So I'm going to Go to the left view. Let me turn off. Make a rectangle. Okay, I'm looking for the rectangle I just drew. Okay, so I'm going to offset just a little bit. And then extrude this rectangle. Okay, then build on difference. Okay, super. Okay, so now I'm going to put on union this bracelet with the box and the top part and put on union with the lock. Okay, that's done. So now you see how this bracelet works. I could put a patterned back braid here, but uh, it will be destructive under the filigree. So I will just leave it as it is for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and smash the like button if you like this video. And if you have any particular model you want us to make, please tell us in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video. Bye.